Hey, come, take off. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Hey, hey, take one, take one, take one. Emily, Emily. Yeah? Roberto's infected. <laughs> Here's his file. Oh no. This hasn't happened in decades. The last time this happened, the infected person had to be terminated. <gasps> Let's take a look at his case file. Name, Roberto Xavier. Age, 67. Height, 1.75 meters. Weight, undisclosed. Symptoms In denial of the real state of business and is not open to criticism or bad news. Has too many cronies who won't be critical of his performance and lacks authenticity when leading others. Diagnosed with CEO disease. Roberto! Don't worry. We're gonna save you! Roberto, you've got the CEO disease. The only antidote is if you generate self-awareness. You've got to be conscious of your strengths while acknowledging what you still have yet to learn. Now, if you keep this up, it could prove to be detrimental to not only you, but the company too. You don't want to end up like the last victim of the CEO disease, right? <gasps> the Johari window comprises of the open self, what others know about you and which you know too. The blind self, what others can see about you, but you can't see. The hidden self, what others don't know about you, but you do. And finally, the unknown self, what others don't know about you, and neither do you. The best way to shrink your blind self is to get constant feedback. We all have blind spots, and if we can learn what they are, we become better leaders. Roberto, if you won't listen to us, you shall be quarantined. Or worse, terminated. Jane, Jane, Jane. No, I don't need no self-awareness. I think you all delusional. Mm. Roberto, you leave me no choice. The antidote, please. Okay, 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 okay. Self-awareness, here I come. <laughs> 